In lesson 1.5, the teacher will begin by showing students a model of something warm placed in something cold and the temperature of the warm thing decreasing. She'll make an analogy between this model and students whose bodies are warm, but if they go out in the cold, the warmth leaves their body and is transferred to the cold and they feel colder. The idea is to ask students what they do to keep warm. They wear a coat. So the students are going to try to develop a coat for a warm water cup so when it's placed in cold water it won't lose as much heat. So let's take a look. You can show students an animation of how a thermometer works. You can give each student group a little thermometer and talk about the way a thermometer can tell how warm or cold something is. And you can discuss how it has a liquid on the inside and that if they look closely they'll see that it has two different scales one's called Fahrenheit and one's called Celsius and scientists use the Celsius scale. You can have students put their thermometer in just room temperature water, which is usually about 20 degrees or so centigrade. And you can have them put it in warm water, and it can go up you know, to about 40 degrees centigrade, which is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in cold water, it can go all the way back down to maybe 10 degrees or less Celsius. So after students have practiced using thermometers, you can call them up to the front of the class where you've set up a cup of warm water that's about almost 40 degrees Celsius, so it's around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can put it in a cold water bath and have students look very closely at the thermometer and see what happens. So you can see that the temperature of the water that was warm before is quickly decreasing. It's losing heat to the cold water. Heat is being transferred from the warm water to that cold water bath. And then you can pose the question, what could they do to the cup to prevent so much heat from being transferred to the cold water? Well, the idea is you could make like a little coat for the cup. And you can provide different materials for the students to use. In this case, we have cotton balls and a strip of construction paper. And if you show students how to do this, they should be able to tape the cotton balls to the paper and begin to make a coat for the cup. As you tape these, the paper, because of the shape of the little cotton balls, will naturally bend. But that's okay because it's going to bend in the direction you want it to to go around the cup. So you would continue to do this until you've completely covered the strip of paper with cotton balls and you're ready to put it around the cup. Here, let's take a look. You can make a little, well, we call it a coat. So the cup is snugly inside the cotton ball strip there. And you put it on plastic wrap because you're going to eventually put it in water. And you want to hold the whole thing together and also make it waterproof. So now you've got your cup in a coat and you're going to be able to put it in water and see if the temperature decreases like it did before. Students can actually do this if you give them some water in their cup. Again, it's about 40 degrees Celsius or about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just kind of hot-ish water from the tap. And then students can put their cup with a coat on it in the cold water bath like you did, and they can see if the temperature decreases like it did before. And students should notice that the temperature barely moves. It's a pretty good insulator. Heat is barely transmitted from the warm water inside the cup to the cold ice water bath. Now you can show students an animation that reinforces the ideas that they've seen in their investigation. So the question is, how do we keep warm in the winter? In other words, how do we keep warm in cold weather? Well, if you go outside just wearing a t-shirt and like light pants, your body's heat is going to move away from your body into the cold winter day and make you feel much colder. So what you should do is put on a nice warm coat and boots and a hat and then you're ready to go outside. So let's try it again. So we go outside this time and you feel very comfortable because if you look closely the warmth from your body is not 
as easily able to escape out into the cold weather and it keeps the warmth of your body close to you and you stay warm. You can talk to your students that the coat that they wear keeps them warm just like the coat they put on the cup kept the cup warm. And in the extend part of the activity, you can talk about the different ways that animals stay warm. They kind of have their own coats or their own insulation. Like a bear has thick skin and fur to help keep them nice and warm when they hibernate. A bird can fluff up its feathers. Sheep have nice thick wool, acts as a coat. And a walrus has thick blubber, like a layer of fat that helps keep their warmth in. For the NGSS standard KESS21, use and share observations of local weather conditions to describe patterns over time. This lesson deals with the local weather condition of just it's cold outside and how do we stay warm when it's cold. So in the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, planning and carrying out investigations, in this case, the teacher and the students together investigate this phenomena of something warm losing its heat to something cold and how that can be prevented. And the natural pattern here is when a warm object is placed in a cold environment, the energy from the warm thing is transferred to the cooler thing and the warm one gets colder. For disciplinary core ideas, weather and climate, that weather is a combination of sunlight, wind, snow, or rain, and temperature in a particular region at a particular time. In this case, we're dealing mostly with temperature, that if the temperature's cold outside, how does a warm thing like a body stay warm? It needs an insulator. It needs a way to keep the warmth in. And for cross-cutting concepts, cause and effect, when there's a temperature difference, heat always moves from the object that's warmer to the area that's colder. But you can prevent that from happening if you can provide some kind of insulator. And that's what kids see when they make the coat for their cup and then expose the cup to the cold water. They have very little change in temperature. So thanks for listening and watching, and good luck with the lesson.